What is up, fellow YouTubers? Subdude Gecko30 here, and I am back in the world of Skyrim, guys. So, in the last episode, we managed to finally finish the companion mission. So, basically, guys, now we're moving on to the next thing I told you all about, which was Merida's Beacon. Which I let me see it's somewhere here in my inventory. Oh, there it is. Merida's Beacon. I had picked up this beacon a while back doing like some, some mini side missions and it was in a chest and I got got like I heard this voice saying for me to return the beacon up to her statue tower. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. So another mission of Mer called Merida's Beacon. So let's try this guys. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. Oh boy. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Um, they can't if, well, you know, just can't. Let's return Merida's beacon. Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide you toward your destiny. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? What's happening? It is time for my splendor to return Whoa. to sky. The token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. Now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. The necromancer Malkaren defiles my shrine with vile corruptions. Trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. Boy, that's not good. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. You can count on me. Tell me about this artifact, though. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker. For it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. You will enter my shrine, destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty blade. Um, I'll do it. <laughs> of course you will. I have commanded it. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. Don't worry. You can count on me. Has forced the door shut. But this is my temple and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light. Guide this light through my temple and its doors will open. Uh-oh. Oh no, we're going back down. No! Guide Merida's light through the temple. Okay. Come on, Lydia, we got a job to do now. Guess that's the way. Wait, was that there before? I don't even remember that being there. Alright, see then. Desecrated corpse. Ugh, it has like that dark brooding feeling in it in it. Those are empty. Uh, oh man. Uh, there we 
we go. There. Here we are. No traps. Okay. Huh. Not much in there. But at least it was something. At least these dead corpses have gold on them. Or, in some cases, desecrated corpse. I have a feeling we're gonna run into droggers or something down here. Alright, so we got the first one open. Let's continue moving on, Lydia. Got a big job to do. Oh uh, boy, not what I was, not what I was expecting. Let me see if my soul trap works on them. Yep, it works. Your souls will be free. Well, not typically free. You'll be mine, but. Hey, better than being being stuck here for all eternity, right? Might as well be inside of one of these salt, these stones, these the soul gems or whatever they call it. Forgot. Gaia yeah, soul gems. Okay. Uh, what does that other way lead? Soul gem large and I look for you. No. Alrighty then. Got a yearn. Feeling that other way led somewhere. I'll probably go check right now. Go on there. Let's go see where that other way led. It's a dead end. So yeah, that way I was going was the right way. So yeah, I probably have all my soul gems probably already filled. Oh no, I got some soul gems that aren't used. But I think I have enough for now, so back to the shield. Get to my shouting not do much good. Yeah, I don't think my shout is gonna do much good on them. So, gonna have to resort to old fashioned ways. An axe and a shield. Jump this. Yeah! Made it. No 
I'll just have to see if Lydia can find a way up here. Kill Crent Balcony. Ah, oh, we're back outside. <laughs> Whoa. That <laughs> scared me for a second. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Alright, an expert chest. Better be something good in here. Dang it. Come on. Oh, none of these ways are opening. Oh man. Ugh. Well, it's somewhere here on this side. There we go. Uh, Ebony Warhammer. Alright, time to continue moving now. Alright, so. Huh? So, well, I, can, I guess I can try my shouts. Like, try the shout to see if it does affect them. My guess is. It'll probably, like, keep them standing. They'll just, like, be, like, you know, paralyzed or something for a bit. Let's try it. Bruce? Yep, I knew it. They'll just paralyze, like, cripple them for a quick second. Sorry, Lydia. That was, that was my bad. More potions. Requires a key. Okay, so you want to play that way? I can play that way too. Here we are. Gotcha! I guess I'm gonna find the key in another, another, like along the way. I'm guessing. No, hey, I also gotta find a key. Uh, but where is a key? And apparently, I gotta get to the damn how. I can jump, but I don't think there's a way to jump that. Oh, wait, no, there's a door open here. This door wasn't open before.
Oh, I see it. Okay, it's gonna take so long, so just open the door and back away. Easiest way. Rather than wasting a bunch of cakes just trying to open that. Empty. Orcus boots. No trap on this one? Okay, good. Seriously, this is what they were protecting a few measly golds, a potion, and a hammer. Wow. Shows how back then people were desperate to protect their things. stuff over here. Okay, it's a novice. Sweet. A block increased. Alright, novice. Alright, this is a novice, so it should be easy to open. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Activate. Yeah. All right. Yep, more of them. Gotcha. Alrighty then. There's the next beacon. Alright, the door down there is open now, so we're good. And it's moments like that, with people with so much gold like this is how much I, like, is the reason I have so much gold right now. Uh, I've seen Indiana Jones so many times to see that to know that was gonna happen. <laughs> Thank you, Indiana Jones. All right, so let's get down there now. Kill Rick catacombs. All right. I thought I saw something on the ground. There's the next next one of the pedestals. Continue moving. I've got a bad feeling about this. 
Yeah, you're not the only one, Lydia. But there he is. I think that's him. Okay, did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. <laughs> I really did not. I gotta take away his magic. Uh, magic. Where is it? Where is it? Leaking bolts. Lightning rune. Let's go with lightning bolt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, I'm stuck. I hate being stuck. One thing that Dark Elves are weak against is ice magic. Okay, let me check my potions real quick. And no, I'm resistant to shock. Tar target is 85% weaker to frost damage for 30 seconds. No, uh, I know I had a potion of from frost damage. Where is it? Resistant call it the same thing, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me a potion, give me a potion, give me a potion. Nope, wrong one. Wrong get inventory. Okay, potion, 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 potion. There we go. Save. Going down too fast. So he's in shock as well. Now we gotta deal with his soul. <laughs> Jokes on you about that. Dang it, I'm on magic. Uh, shield. Save real quick. the staff he had. That one's a pretty cool staff. Let's check with all these, these defiled corpses. Or, no, not defiled. Desecrated. Defiled. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, most of these, most of these warriors didn't re really did not stand a chance against them, did, did they? So much gold. I don't think there's anything else around here we need. 
All right, so I guess now we take Dawnbreaker. Ow. It's like the sword in the stone. Dawnbreaker added. Woo! We got Dawnbreaker now. Awesome! This mighty blade in your name. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. Whoa, we're going down. Hmm, guess that stays there. Okay, so we'll, weapons, weapons. Dawnbreaker. Alright, cool. We'll have, to, we'll have to figure out if we can upgrade that. Let, let's take this home real quick and see if we can find out. Like, let's see if we can upgrade it and what it needs to upgrade. Alright, so let's see what it needs to upgrade real quick. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? All right, see what Dawn Breaker needs to upgrade. Huh, an em ebony ingot. That's a I got that. The only one, though. Let's see how much it will upgrade it for, though. Let's see. Ebony ingot. Ebony, ebony, ebony. Up oh, there it is. The only one I got. <laughs> I can't find that many in ebony ingots. If y'all know where I can find more ebony ingots, let me know, guys, because it has been hard for me to find any ebony ingots. I barely even find one or two at a time. What? So, Dawn Dawnbreaker requires a flawless. Bad. Fifty two and eh. also requires an ebony ingot. Everything requires an ebony ingot. Why is that? Hmm. I guess I can stay there. I'm gonna need you soon anyway, so I'll take you with me and I'll put the Ebony War Axe. Or, um, hmm. Now, nah, I know what I'll do with Dawnbreaker. But for now, let's see where is that Ebony War? War okay. There we go. And for Dawnbreaker. Of course, it's it's all right. I mean, like, but I need strong weapons for what I'm going to be up against. Soon. So let me see. Well, what are you doing that for? Um, let me see if I can build a weapon plaque. Now I can put it up. Okay, no, I can't build weapon plaques here because I think I already used up all of them. Uh. 
Um, I'll put it in my room. If I got any space there left, do I? A canoe? I do not. Uh. Alright, plan B then. It's a fine day with you around. Gonna put it in here with all my with all my other weapons. Dawnbreaker, drop. Or Dawnbreaker, oh there it is. Now put it in here. And no, I don't want it over the sword. I want on it like on its own little spot. That right, right, right. There we go. That's good, right there. Yeah, no, that's good, that's good. Alright. Alright guys, so we are going to end it here for now. And that'll be all for this time. If y'all enjoyed this episode of Merida's Beacon, please leave a like and comment, and please subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode, guys. See y'all later. Oh, and also, before I go, guys... Let me know, let, like, letting y'all know, in the next episode, we are no longer going to be taking Lydia on any more quests. Yeah, uh, and not in a bad way, of course. Y'all are going to find out the reason why we're not going to be taking her on quests anymore. But for now, y'all will have to wait and see. So, please leave a like and comment, and please subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode, guys. See y'all later. Bye-bye, guys.